Hey, Boxy here. Ocean's Day update, Pride Month update, a new pet, we're saying goodbye to a building and an existing building is getting a makeover. And that's all happening this week. Today I'll be going through everything you need to know so that you're prepared for all the coming updates, along with revealing how you can get your very own pet snake for free. We've got a busy week of updates this week. On the 8th of June, that's tomorrow if you're watching my video on the day of release, we see the arrival of the World Oceans Day update. The update is here to support the fantastic work that the whale and dolphin conservation carry out. As part of this update, an ocean stand will be coming to the game. It will be here, so make sure you don't miss it. We'll also be getting new petware in the form of pins, along with a new musical instrument and new stroller. And in Adopt Me's latest video, did you notice how Jesse mentioned among other things too? So there's going to be some surprises in there too. Based on a previous video, we know that the pins are going to be free. So make sure to grab yourself at least one of each to dress up your pets with, and to later use in trades. That's if they're tradable. The musical instrument is a conch, basically a big shell, and the pram is called a clam stroller. There's no indication if these will be free or not, so you might want to make sure you have some bucks available just in case. For those traders out there, the pram will be the one that will be most sought after, and you may want to get a few to later trade away. That's the World Oceans Day update. I'll be attending it during its launch, and I'll have my joins on too, so come and join me if you're around. The 11th of June is the next update. There's a lot happening on this day. We're getting two updates at the same time, along with the new pet. As part of Pride Month, we'll be seeing new pins come into the game for your pets to wear. We'll also be seeing Pride flags too. We now know that these flags will be decorations, so we can use them to decorate our house. Nice! On the same day, we'll be seeing changes to buildings within Adopt Me. We'll be saying goodbye to the potion shop. Yep, this whole building is going, and the potions sold here will be relocated within the Sky Castle. It's a shame to say goodbye to this place as I really like the look of it down here, with the giant mushrooms and pink glowing crystals. But it's probably a good idea, because I for one, and I bet most of you, just use the shop button to purchase your ride and fly potions, rather than travelling to the potion shop. What this means is that this area will be free, so perhaps they're thinking ahead and making room for another new building. The potion sold here will be moved to the Sky Castle, and that whole building is having a makeover. Let's make our way on up there. So I've got myself a neon unicorn, which came with the name of Starburst. Of course, this is the same name as Presley's unicorn, and although it's an awesome name, I need to rename it to something else. Let me know within the comments down below what I should name it to, and I'll select one of the names. This is another building that rarely sees any player interaction, so I'm excited to see what they change in here and if they give us more of a reason to use this building. It's getting a complete new makeover, like the toy shop had recently, and we all know how amazing the toy shop looks now, so I have great expectations for this building. It makes sense that all the potions will be sold within the same building, rather than spread across the potion shop and sky castle. I really hope that they introduce some new potions at the same time. I'd love something like an invisibility potion, but I doubt they'd introduce this as it will devalue the tombstone ghostify item. So that's the sky castle update. Lastly, we're getting a new pet and it's the cobra snake. I'm really glad they chose this snake as it's really unique looking. It's a premium pet, which means it will cost Robux. So if you're free to play, your only way of getting one will be through trading. But I'll also shortly be revealing how to get one for free. There are two types of premium pets in this game, limited and non-limited pets. The lamb is a limited pet, and the red squirrel is a non-limited. Basically, one of the pets will always be available in the pet shop, and the other one is only around for a short time, then it's gone. They generally say if it's a limited pet, so I'm guessing this snake will be a non-limited pet, meaning it will be available from the pet shop for some time. Some trading advice for this pet, if you're free to play and looking to get your hands on one, I'd avoid trying to trade for one straight away, as you'll be paying much higher than if you waited a week or so. On the other hand, if you can be one of the first to make a neon or mega neon version, then this will be extremely valuable during the first few days and will fetch a high price. 
Finally, this is how you can get your hands on a pet cobra snake for free. I'll be doing a giveaway. The winner will be announced in a couple of weeks. All you need to do to be in for a chance of winning one is subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment your Roblox username down below. The winner will be announced on my YouTube community post and Roblox group. That's it for today. Stay tuned for future videos where we'll be exploring all these new updates. This is The Box and as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you next time. Boxy out.